How's it going, everyone? My name is Do Girl, and welcome back to reading your comments. Uh, this batch, unfortunately, is a little bit somber, but given the context and everything, but I think I can put a happy spin on it. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Um, also, a little bit different. Uh, some of the comments are labeled as, I label them as 0, 1.1, 1.2. That's because they come from the same video. Uh, it kind of makes it easier for me to figure out which comment goes where. So, anyways, let's do it to it. First comment comes from Nimu from the video The Tension Is There. Let's play Dragon Fable Book of Frostville Chapter 18 The Grand Snow Fight. Yeah, this one was quite a while back. But Nimu says, to get rid of the lag, you can turn off weather effects in options. Thank you, Nimu, for the tip. You've, your, your advice and tips and, and mentorship has been all invaluable. That's all I can say. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it so much, dude. I really do. Thank you. Uh, and thank you, Nimu, for the comment. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, next comment comes from Nimu again. Same video. And Nimu says, and anyways, why are you using a class that you haven't fully trained? L LOL. Uh, I was you back then. I was, I had not, I don't think I'd purchased the Soul Weaver yet. Or not Soul Weaver. Uh, Chaos Weaver yet. And, um, I haven't, I hadn't, uh, gotten to where I am now, but I did read in the wiki that one of the classes that worked well against that particular boss was the Guardian class, and uh, it's one of those classes I'd forgotten about, and I think it's the Guardian class. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I'll have to look it up in the video again, but anyways, it was one of the classes I'd forgotten about and, ha alas, had not fully trained. Some classes just fell by the wayside. I'm sorry. I can't maintain them all. There's <laughs> too many classes to maintain, particularly since I'm always using Chaos Weaver now, <laughs> or Ninja back then. So hopefully that answers your question, Nemo. Thank you. Thank you for the comment, dude. Appreciate it. Next comment, uh, same video. Nemo again from same video. Nemo says, The fight with Pyro would have gone a lot faster if you'd used the rotation shown on the wiki. Also, remember to turn on manual pet actions. Uh, yeah. That's always been a bit of a... I kind of liked letting Sparks do his own thing, but when I do, all he does is heal me. He, he nine, out, nine times out of... Well, I'd say about five times out of ten, he won't attack. So, I did take Nemo's advice, and I did switch to manual pet actions. And, yeah. I was too... I admit, I did not follow the wiki. I don't think I even had it open for that fight. But hey, got there in the end. Anyways, thank you, Nemu, for the comment and advice. Appreciate it. Next comment comes from Nemu. Again, same video. Uh, Nemu says, Snow's Repose is basically a poor man's antithesis. Tomatoes, tomatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Same thing, same difference to me, really. I don't really go for... Uh, aesthetics that much as long as my character has uh, either I lucked out when or let me first say this when Bubbles hairstyle became available for for all of us for the character for the player base to use I lucked out because as you know my character is a uh, okay a little bit of backstory on uh, my character she is what is known as a Quessa as I've mentioned several times in the uh, book one and two series now. And now getting into book three. Uh, she is a Quessa, which is a wolf with quill long quills hidden in the tail. Um, well, they didn't have dog ears in Dragon Fable, so I settled and I went with cat ears. Unfortunately, I can't make them. They're not, they're color custom to... The character's hair not the skin type so I can't make them white but I'm willing to cut my losses and settle for what I what I can um, so yeah I lucked out when they made bubbles ears 
Bubbles' hair and ears available. <laughs> um, right, aesthetics. Uh, other than that, and as long as the hair and face aren't covered, I really could care less what my character looks like. As you've seen throughout, I've I only choose Ninja and Chaos Weaver. At first, I was hesitant. As you may know, I was hesitant to use Chaos Weaver because I considered the class quote-unquote evil because of some of the moves that involved the soul. Like, uh, uh, the, the move where you snap your fingers and the soul just explodes. Yeah. Uh, I'm still hesitant to use Doom Knight for obvious reasons and other what I consider darker classes but I make it ex I'm making an exception for Chaos Weaver because it's pardon my language but it's so damn effective so and it gets me where I need to go and puts me where I need to be so yeah uh thank you Nemu for helping soften my stance on good and evil what I consider good and evil armor essentially like I said, Bit Snow's repose is basically, I don't care what it looks like. As long as the stats are good, and it works to my advantage. I know that sounds selfish, and I'm sorry, but in a game like Dragon Fable, it's either you or them. And I kind of, you know, I kind of rather it be me. <laughs> okay, anyways, thank you, Nimu, for the comment. Appreciate it. I'm going to quit on this before I dig myself in a deeper hole. <laughs> Okay, next comment comes from uh, Noodle Brick Squad uh, from the video Honestly at a Lost, New Year's Vlog. I don't even remember what I said in that vlog. Uh, future me, put a clip of that vlog in the video if you can. I have been toying around with um, just deleting the channel, just wiping the six, like, cl mostly clean as far as subscribers and views go and then just starting starting again it's it's just been bothering me that we have over uh, as of this recording 141 subscribers and we only get and the average video only gets like 10 uh, I'm not including the Christmas project but maybe uh, on average 10 five to ten videos or ten five to ten views per video okay now that we've watched that and you all know what I said and I still don't um, at, at least at the time of this recording noodle brick squad says happy new year I don't know I, I honestly don't know a lot of times I find I'm finding it hard to be happy and it's not that I'm not I am it's just a lot of times and with the RA progressing as it is, it's always already taken up, like... Okay, first, little medical lesson for y'all. RA comes into in, in two stages. First is the internal damage that you don't see. The damage, like, to the wrist, to the, uh, to the joints in the body. It's basically the immune system, attack overactive immune system attacking the joints in the body, as my doctor put it, because it's bored. And it has nothing else to do. The, for lack of a better word, the the cocktail of medications that I'm on, including the self-injections every other week for Humira, um, that meant to weak, not weaken, but kind of put on, you know when you have a raging fire in a building and you got to put it out and you have fire spring. Okay, you have a raging fire in a building, right? You gotta put it out. The medications that I'm on are the fire sprinklers that are pre-installed in the system. And as soon as they detect the smoke, they automatically click kick on and start spraying water everywhere, right? They'll put put out the fire. Yeah. Uh in my case, the water sprinklers aren't putting out enough water. So the fire is still kinda going. Um, but this is to kind of help tamp it down a little bit so I can have a little more energy and from what I've read com combining with what my doctor told me and what I've read online um, my immune system is attacking my joints like my, my hands 
which are vitally important to both my customer service job and this and YouTube. Um, uh, my joints, elbows, knees, back, uh, feet. The second stage that it comes in is what's known as psoriatic arthritis. And this is where you get the lovely itch filled patches. Just, it looks like I have chicken pox, but it's, uh, you, you guys don't see it much because it's not spread to my hands yet. Uh, it has spread slightly to my wrist now, but it's mostly on my elbows and my, uh, my feet, but it's now spreading up the left leg and it's already taken over half of the, uh, calf area. Now, it's not like a fungus or disease where if it spreads too much, it's going to, you know, rot away the skin or anything. It does eventually rot away the skin, but mostly it just really, it really itches. And most of the damage is being done on the inside anyway. So, um, sometimes it, it's been known to break out on my face too, which is a lot of the times why I don't show my face. Well, that and John. Um, so, yeah, that's that's how that's going. Aesthetics, right. Um, so, for that, mainly for that reason, I use like uh, avatars like Tristina or Do, or Do uh, as you've seen all around the channel and the Discord server, uh, to present a face to you guys it's still my voice it's still my it's still my voice my heart my soul everything I'm putting into these videos I just present a fake it's not fake it's just something for you guys to connect to because I can't show my face because of John and the eczema has a tendency to wreak havoc across my face and I hate wearing makeup it feels like cake on your face or mud so yeah not doing that anyway uh thank you noodle i think that's enough rambling on that topic uh noodle brick squad thank you for the comment appreciate it dude thank you okay next comment comes from trisha foro from the video the effects of bullying uh trisha says very brave of you proud of you uh fun fact i actually worked with trisha for about three months over in the customer service job uh, before I switched from the uh, medical agent to the new job what I'm at is uh, mainly like uh, warranty stuff that's all I'm gonna say uh, so I worked with Trisha she's awesome 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 person wonderful wonderful person if you see her around the channel give her a big big hug for me um, and I'll try to verbally do that as well if I see her. I haven't seen Trisha around the channel for a bit, but, or at least since this comment was posted, but yeah. It's easy to talk about something I've lived through, and I know personally. I could tell you, I probably already have, but I could tell you any great number of horror stories involved with uh, bullying and the countless years of teasing that I endured. Not just because of uh, I was different, well, because I was different, I think. And also, I didn't fit in. I just... And thankfully, thank the Lord, I never snapped. And shot up a school or anything. I would never think of doing that. But, thank the Lord, I never went the other route either and killed myself or something. But there are many times I almost did. Many, many times. Um... And I tell my story not to make y'all sad or not to say, oh, woe is me, blah, 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 blah. I tell my story to let other people know that it's not okay. It's not cool. It's not hip. It's not going to make you fit in. Well, it might make you fit in, but with the wrong crowd. And really, it's not, you're, you're doing more harm than good. Because that's how you'll be remembered. At least in that person's eyes, as a bully. Um, and trust me, it's not something you want to go on your college resume. Uh, so, 
so yeah and I have had uh, bullies in the past come back and apologize for what they've done um and we actually ended on uh, mutual terms. So not all bullies are cold, evil-hearted people. They're just lost and confused. And really, we should we should be reaching out to them more than we do. Uh, but I think bullies and the victims should be reached out to in equal measures. Because not all of them, as I said, are cold, heartless people. They're just really confused and really lost. And you, you never know what they're going through at home. They might be dishing out on you what they're being, what they're soaking up at home. So, uh, but uh, back to my earlier point, it's not right. And there's no good reason for bullying and, tor and torment this ment kind of mental anguish. But sometimes it's not always the victim that needs help is what I'm trying to say anyways thank you Trisha for the comment appreciate it girl hope to see you again soon uh, let's see next comment comes from Brandy Nicole from the video better luck next week uh, Brandy says hey I hope you're doing well and all is going good for you I miss talking to you I miss talking to you too I, I we don't really verbally talk but uh, all of the jobs I've been at through the past three what well, they're known as campaigns the different jobs are known as campaigns and I've been to three different campaigns with the same company all three different campaigns had a chat system so we talked through chat but I've other than in train I think in training I've never heard uh, Brandy or Trisha's vo voices and we just mainly talked through chat until I've been moved somewhere else. So, yeah. Brandy, good to hear from you again, girl. Miss you. Uh, and thank you for not... Thank you uh, to Trisha and Brandy. Thank you for not saying my real name. Y'all know why. I'm very, very protective of who I really am and uh, my real name and all that. Anyways, thank you both for the comments. Appreciate it. Uh, from Brandy again, this time from the video I hate coming up short. Brandy says, hey, thanks for sharing. I see you're doing good. Miss ya. Good luck on your new job. This is when I moved to the campaign that I'm at now. This was like, oh geez, coming up on three months. So, uh, what is it now? May? It's, yeah, May. Uh, I went to the new campaign in, I think, March or April of this year. So, yeah, it's coming up on three months. Oh, my gosh. So much has happened at the at the job since I moved. I've, I've learned so much, and I've discovered so much. And you really do learn a lot more when you're, when you're do, interacting with customers and taking orders and all that than you do in training. Training is just like a drop in the bucket compared to what you learn on the job. So, uh, Brandy, yes, miss you too, girl. Miss you too. Uh, thank you for your comment. I appreciate it, girl. Thank you. Next comment comes from... Uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher this. I'm sorry. Outner. O-U-T-N-E-R. Outner. Uh, from the video Book 1 Into the Light Part 4.1. Oh, my gosh. When was that? One month ago. Oh boy. Uh, well, it, the caption says one month ago because that's when I. Uh, that was the time of the when I took the screenshot for reading your comments, or the snippet. Now, it could be longer than that. I don't know. Um, and I don't really have time to go and look. So yeah. Uh, Outner says, "Hey, nice video. Nice comment." Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, next comment comes from Brandy Nicole again from the video showing my faith where I can. I think this, uh, uh, Brandy says, thanks for sharing. I think this was the straw that broke the camel's back and really encouraged management to move me to the, to the campaign that I'm at now. Don't quote me on that. But, yeah, they just, I don't know. Because... They didn't. They weren't really happy 
because I told someone God bless you I told in chat in like the group chat so not saying they didn't like it but they weren't happy so I think that was part of why they decided to move me to the campaign I'm at now and I haven't said it in chat since but I do say it, and I didn't even say it I think in group chat I think it was in a per private uh, direct me what's known as a direct message or DM between two people they just the client can see it and the client being the main boss or the client being the main company I work at there's two companies the campaign which is like the the job I'm actually doing and the big the big company which in companies all the little campaigns uh, the big company can see everything you say in the in the little company chat rooms and the direct messages you send to co-workers uh, I don't know what the problem is with me saying God bless you but honestly I'm not gonna say anything else on it because I don't want to jeopardize my job I need money <laughs> Sorry, uh, but yeah thank you Brandy for the comment appreciate it girl uh, next comment comes from James22939 from the video, I'm getting better at this, book two, Tina's Tale, part two. Um, James22939 says, your voice is so relaxing, my friend. Oh, boy. Thank you, uh, for the comment. I have nothing more to say on that. I've said everything I've already wanted to say for that. I'm glad you appreciate my voice, but, dude, change, you know, sorry. Um, it's getting repetitive. Really. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Uh, thank you, James22939, for the comment. Appreciate it, dude. Next comment comes from Noodle Brick Squad from the video I meant to post this last night, but dot, 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 dot. Um, uh, Noodle Brick Squad says, how many stars is that? One, two, three, four, five. Five stars. Okay. Uh, yes. I forget what that vlog was about. Really, I think I was in bed or going to bed or getting ready for bed. I don't know. <laughs> One of the three. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Noodle Brick Squad, for the comment. Appreciate it. Next comment comes from Noodle Brick Squad again from the video "Relief is Coming." I think this is when we finally found out that the Humera had been the prior authorization for the Humera had been approved and it was on its way. Uh, Noodle Brick Squad says, You're great, Star. You are committed to uploading. Breaks are healthy, so take it easy. Yes, but s breaks are healthy, but they can, if you don't kind of step in and say, Okay, that's enough of a, there, there's, uh, that's enough of a break time to get back to work. It can go on for a long time. Yeah, so I don't want to let myself get lazy. Um, but sometimes the hiatus is just beyond my control. For example, if the computer's not working, one of my screens fudges up, uh, or I lose internet, or I lose power. Yeah, I'm not going to post videos for a while. I'll try to post it from my phone if we don't lose internet. I'll even use my data if I have to. But nine times out of ten, I'm going to do my dang dish to try to upload. Now, I know that's that's a bit of a stretch. Um, that's a bit of a hypocrisy from me because I've been missing so many upload days recently. But that's because my schedule is fudged up. And I only have uh, two two days off that I would normally upload anyway. Those are my only two days off, and I work weekends now. So, and plus with the fatigue and the yeah, it just goes on and on and on. Uh, it's just a mess right now, which is why I'm up only unfortunately uploading Thursday, either Thursday, Friday, or both if I can manage it. I might get back to the old schedule. I don't know. I hope I do. But yeah, so yeah, that's uh, that's what's going on now. Uh, Noodle Brick Squad, thank you for the comment, dude. Appreciate it. Next comment comes from the cleaner 
from the video same same video. Uh, the cleaner says all of your fans are cheering for you. Taking breaks is healthy. Do not worry if sometimes you need to skip one or two. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I need, um, uh, I don't just skip one or two. I go. At worst, my hiatuses can go for weeks or months on end without any uh, gameplay upload footage. <laughs> I'm sorry. But if I have to take a hiatus, you know something is really wrong. Something is... As you would stay in, say in the Star Wars media, there is a disturbance in the Force. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... Yeah, um, uh, but I do appreciate, I, I do understand where you're coming from, Cleaner, and I do appreciate the sentiment. Um, hopefully I can get back to a regular upload schedule soon, or at least change around the days again. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Let's see where, it, uh, and to make a quick announcement, um, I am getting better. The Shumera is finally starting to kick in, so I'm getting a little bit more energy, um, but it's slow. It's so slow. Okay, thank you, the cleaner, for the comment. Appreciate it, dude. And I'm sorry for blinding everyone. I know I switched from black background to white background. I'm so sorry. That it was just what it looked like when I when I took a bit snippet of the comment. The next comment is from newcomer Keon Kim from the video Tristina's Sacrifice Dramatic Reading Book Two. Tina's Tale, Part 4.4. Uh, Keon says, Hi, do girl. I got into watching your Dragon Fable videos, and I'm so in awe of you putting so much effort into your voice acting and video editing. I really enjoy your videos. They make me feel relaxed and good. You are so humorous, interactive, and kind, and you make my days relaxed and happy. And I watch your videos when I'm stressed, and I'm so blessed I found your channel. Please keep up your amazing work, even if there not be, might be, if, even if there might not be many people. I'll be your avid supporter. You deserve so much more recognition, and your help. Your I hope your health is well these days. I can relate, and I can relate how hard it it can be, as I have some chronic health issues too. Um, I've always been kind of a sickly kid. I've never really been you know, too healthy. Um, my parents, I think it was after, okay, when you're uh, what's known as a resource student or uh, special ed, right? It's, it's kind of, it's similar to special ed, just not with this, not as many restrictions and not as much, you know, people watching you all the time. Um, you have these yearly meetings of teachers that are, that are known as the ARD meetings. Uh, One year during the ARD meetings, it was decided amongst the teachers that going into high school, this was actually the transition from junior high, or I think it was a intermediate school to high school, that I would not continue, I would be exempt from taking gym classes because it was doing more harm than good. Uh, it was, it, we did, we, and this was before we knew about the RA or the rheumatoid arthritis or psoriatic arthritis, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and I was I was skinny, I, I I hate to say it, but I was I was like a twig when I was in school. So I wasn't that strong, and I wasn't that athletic, and I was clumsy, and yeah, I was just uh, your average nerd. <laughs> Nowhere near. Um, so yeah, uh, and like I said this before, all the my health blew up into what it is now. Um. What, what was my point? What was I getting at? Sometimes I have these lapses in memory. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, my health has not, oh, never always, never been the best. Anyways, I forgot my point, so I'll go ahead and cut, uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, say thank you, Keon Kim, for the comment. Appreciate it, dude. And let's move on. 
Thank you, uh, Keon Kim again from the video. A message to Keon Kim. Thank you. Uh, Keon says, "Hey, do whoa, thank you. I'm happy you received my comment. I hope you take good care, and I'll look forward to your updates." Uh, yeah, I try to. I don't get a lot of comments. If you look through the videos, uh, very few of them even have uh, a well, not very few, but a uh, small majority of them have only one comment. So yeah, uh, I, I do try to acknowledge people when they do comment if I can with a little quick vlog saying, hey, I see you, hi, coming up with an answer soon. <laughs> so uh, thank you, Keon Kim, for the response to my response. <laughs> thank you, dude, appreciate it. As I said, next response comes from Keon Kim again from the video, bless you all today. Uh, if you look at it sideways, it's a, uh, if you break it down, it's a um, greater less than symbol and a three. But if you look at it sideways, it's a heart. So thank you, Keon, for the comment. Appreciate it, dude. Next comment comes from Keon Kim again. From the video, this could get messy. Let's play Dragon Fable the Rose Saga through the Tangle Part 24. Oh, that, that title was a mouthful. Uh, Keon Kim says, yay, nice, do questing solo now. I can't seem to hear the music, though, but at least I can hear your voice well. Yeah, that's something I'm still struggling with unfortunately is is volume management sometimes the music is too loud and my voice is too quiet or my voice is too quiet and the music is too loud which is why I didn't showcase the music for a long time in Dragon Fable but now that I know that I can um, I'm trying to balance everything uh, you'll especially hear it in the uh, in the uh, Beshen Eyes book one two and three the the uh, Harry Potter fan book saga thing I gotta come up with an official name for that. Um, I try to balance the... Sometimes I have to do like multiple copies of my own voice. So it sounds like there's more people than just one. S uh, and the music. And uh, if it's like uh, Tiff and Besh talking in Animalese, I have to manage that too. Because I have... I, I basically take the dialogue and then I reverse it. Or if it's animalese, I did like animal sound effects like dogs barking or cat yelling or what have you. And then it just turned out too annoying, so I quit that. But if it's like, if they're speaking in Kisan, uh, I take, instead of going, uh, which will probably annoy everybody, I just take the main dialogue and then reverse it. And so it sounds kind of like Kisan, but yeah, that works better for me than trying to talk Keeson all the time. Thank you, Keon Kim, for the pro comment. Appreciate it. Woo! That was a mouth. That was a tongue twister. I try to say that five times fast. Thank you. Next comment comes from Keon Kim again from the video Changing the Upload Days Again. Oh, when did I last change them? Oh, I think it was two years ago from when I changed every, uh, just uh, from Tuesday to Friday, uh, 4 p.m. instead of 12, like I had been. Yeah, I only change it if I really, really, really need to, or something just jumps out at me in, in analytics, which is why I changed it last time. I don't know. Uh, everything is everything is up in the air right now. Until the Humera fully kicks in, I don't know what's going to happen with the channel. But thank you, Keon Kim, for the comment. Appreciate it, dude. Next comment comes from Keon Kim again from the video Why So Serious? Serious. Let's play Dragon Fable, the Fear Engine Saga, Into the Fearscape. I remember that title. Uh, part 3. Uh, Keon says, Yay, Serious is American. Accent thick, too. Love it. Uh, you... It's, it's kind of difficult to do Sirius's accent because I think my accent, I'm Southern myself, but my accent only really comes out when I'm angry. So I have to kind of remember Southern accent is done with kind of a drawl and not because we're stupid, but it's just because the way we talk. So yeah, I have to kind of thick lay the, uh, but I think um, for Cassandra, 
I was going for a bit of a Russian accent because at the time when I did voice acting for Cassandra, I had no idea she and Sirius were related, even if distantly. So, yeah. Uh, thank you, Keon Kim, for the comment. Appreciate it. Okay, here's a double whammy from Keon Kim again. I think it was the same video. Uh, the first comment says, Keon Kim says, Do girl, isn't the average American accent like a toned down southern country accent? Except in some affluent international hotspots where there seems to be complete absence of the accent. That's how I thought of it. Uh, I don't know. It's weird. If you're speaking in your own language, you don't hear an accent. I don't, honestly. I can tell you people from New York have a New York accent. People from Louisiana are, are, are much have a different accent. People from down south, like me, have an accent. Uh, well, I guess you can kind of hear it a little bit now. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I guess if you're British, you don't hear it. it and it's only when, when I was watching one of Soviet Womble's videos, and thank God, because Soviet Womble is British, um, that I noticed but that he was uh, trying to explain. I think he was playing a Civil War game, and he was trying to explain to somebody because he kept saying, the guy kept saying, uh, apologize for cussing here. I'll put a disclaimer on the on the uh, on the screen. He kept saying the word ass, and Soviet goes, and I'm not trying to make some fun of Soviet Womble. I'm just uh, giving a demonstration of his accent. It's pronounced ass, ass, or a r s e. It's pronounced ass, not ass. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> it just blew my mind to hear the words. Arse, A-R-S-E, and ass, A-S-S, -S, next to each other. Oh my gosh, it blows my mind now. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you, Keon, for the comment. Next comment from Keon Kim again, same video. Also says, also some New York City accents have Italian roots, right? Uh, when I was researching my mom's side of the family through Ancestry.com, shout out to Ancestry.com, um, I found out a lot of her family came from Germany, and the, she has some Italian, <laughs> Italian roots, I think she said, so that's probably why I love Italian food so much, I said, mom, it's not just you, <laughs> but yeah, oh god, I love, I love Olive Garden's fettuccine Alfredo, I'm drooling at the thought of it, anyway, um, I guess they do. That's I, but I, I. I can't see the transition from. I just can't see the transition from Italian to New York accent. I don't even want to tr attempt a New York accent. Um, I might sometime in the future, but I don't want to attempt it now. Anyways, yeah, that's my take on that. Uh, thank you, Keon Kim, for the comments. Comments, appreciate it, dude. Last comment comes from Noodle Brick Squad. Oh my god, my southern just got strong. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, Noodle Brick Squad from the video. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Uh, that which was today. Uh, Noodle Brick Squad says, Happy Mother's Day. As I mentioned before, a lot of people on Discord, uh, namely, I'm looking at... Uh, is he still on? I'm looking at the Discord server right now. Uh, his name is typically uh, Mitchell, number 2475. Oh, God, it is strong. Why? Um, but he's uh, renamed himself as Do Girl's Son. I forget what his name was before. Uh, a lot of, well, at least two or three people in, in the disco server call me Mom. Mainly because I think I'm nice, I'm kind to people, I'm nurturing, I try to help people as much as I can, and I post a lot of Bible verses, so, <laughs> I don't know, uh, also from Ken, uh, so, yeah, thank you guys, uh, from Discord, thank you, I, I humbly accept your designation of mother, 
Uh, but uh, don't worry, I'm not going to tuck you in at night or anything unless you want to. Um, unless you want me to. Anyways, yeah, uh, I'm not a mother in real life, but I am on YouTube. So, eh, okay. Uh, thank you, Noodle Brick Squad, for the comment. And that is the final comment for this from this batch. Thank you all. Oh my gosh. I think this is the first episode I've done that I didn't end up crying. <laughs> so I better stop before I do. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, whichever game I was playing, I have no idea because I record, the, record this pre- gameplay so I have no idea what game I'm playing but if you enjoy the video please like and comment down below I really do appreciate it and the next 20 comments will be featured will be compiled into another episode of reading your comments so there you go anyways take care of each other God bless you all and I'll see y'all later oh my gosh the accent was really strong there why <laughs> Oh,